Today I'm working in the toy kitchen. Here's our first customer. What would she like? A hamburger. I've baked the burger buns already, and they have sesame seeds on top. I'll just place them over here. Now, first I need to cook the burger patty. Where's my fry pan? Oh, here it is. I'll just get my spatula so I can flip the burger. I'll turn on the toy cooker and wait for the burger to cook. I'll flip it over so it cooks on both sides. Oh, look, it's cooking. All done. It's time to turn off the cooker. I'll just get my spatula again and take out the burger. And let's go put it on the bun. Here we go. One beef patty. Now, what goes next? Ah, I know. I'll cook some cheese. I have this slice of Swiss cheese which will melt on the grill. You can hear it cooking. All done. The cheese is melted. Let's go place it on the burger. One slice of cheese coming right up. What goes next on the burger? Hmm. How about some tomato? Hmm, where is it? Can you see a tomato? Ah, here it is. Tomato. First, we need to wash it under the faucet. There's hot water and cold. I'll use the cold water. Turn it on. Let's get the tomato nice and clean. Looks great. Turn off the tap. Now we need to cut a slice of tomato. Great! Now we have our tomato slice. Let's place it on top of the cheese. What's next? Hmm, how about we use some onion? Can you see the onion? Here it is. Onion. Let's go cut a slice to place on the burger. One onion ring. We have four ingredients already on our burger. What's next? I have this carton of eggs. Hmm, how about I use this one? I'll turn on the toy grill and crack the egg open. Oh, you can hear it sizzling. It's cooked already. I'll just get my spatula and get it off. Oh, first I'll turn off the toy grill. It's a little bit slippery and tricky to get out. Mm, I think I've got it. Here we go. Let's place it on the burger. Great job. And last, I'll add this slice of lettuce. I'll just get this tray here and place the burger on it. Now, what toppings will our customer like? I have two. Tomato ketchup and mayo. Which one? This one? Well, this one. How about both? I'll just turn the top of the bun over and let's start with the tomato ketchup. Oh, I think that's enough ketchup, don't you? Put the lid back on. Hmm. Now, let's get the mayo. Open the top. Great. Put the lid back on. The burger's nearly ready. All we need to do now is put the burger bun on top. Wow, our burger looks amazing. I can't wait to serve it to our customer. The burger cost five coins. The customer gave us five coins. Let's count them together. There's one, two, three, four, and five. One burger coming right up. Here's our next customer. He would like a seafood salad. I have all my greens. I have some spinach. We'll place a couple of leaves in the bowl. What else? There's some kale. Here we go. And last, I have some lettuce. I'll just get my spatula and spoon to mix up the lettuce leaves. Looks great! 
Now, what shall we add first to our salad? How about a carrot? Here it is. One carrot. Let's go wash it under the faucet. Turn it on. It looks clean. Let's turn off the water. Next, I need to grate the carrot. Now it's ready to cut up so we can put it in the salad. That's two slices of carrot. What else shall we put in the salad? How about a yellow pepper? Here it is. Pepper. Let's cut a slice. Great! Let's add one slice of pepper to the salad. Hmm. Now I think I'll use the eggplant. We have the eggplant. Now let's go cook it on the grill. All cooked. Now all I need to do is go and prepare it to put in the salad. First, I'll take off the stalk. We don't need that. And now I'll cut the eggplant in half. Great, we've got two slices of eggplant. Let's put them in the salad one too. It's a seafood salad, so we need to look for some fish. Here it is. One blue fish. Let's add it to the grill. Looks cooked. I'll just remove it from the grill. Now I need to cut the fillets of fish. That's one fillet. And two. We have two fillets of fish. I think I'll just use one for the salad. Hmm, what's next? How about we cook the crab? Put it on the grill. Oh, wow, it's turned into a lobster. Let's go get it ready for the salad. I think I'll use this piece here. Here we go. What's next? How about I cook a couple of prawns? They look cooked. Let's get them off the grill and place them straight into the salad. This seafood salad's looking great. Almost done. Hmm. Now, I think I'll add some vinaigrette. And what else? Some salt. And pepper. Add a little pinch of salt and some pepper. And now I'll just mix it around with my spatula and spoon. Looking good. I can't wait for the customer to see his seafood salad. All done. Looks amazing. There's so many things in this salad. Let's serve it up. Here we go. The seafood salad costs 10 coins. I'll just type 10 into the cash register. A customer gave us 10 coins. Can you help me count them? Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten! Great counting! One seafood salad coming right up! Here's customer number three, and she would like a pizza! I have the pizza base! Now, what's first? I know! First we'll place some tomato paste on the bottom! That's one, two, three, and four! What's next? How about some cheese? That's one, two, three, and four. How about I use this can of black olives? Let's 
Let's open it up. There's lots of olives inside. Let's place them on the pizza. It's one, two, and three. Hmm, what topping shall we use next? How about this slice of pepperoni? Two slices of pepperoni. Hmm, and now I'll use this green bell pepper. Pizza is starting to look really colorful. Hmm, maybe I'll add some slices of mushroom. That's one and two. Hmm, what's the last topping? How about a slice of yellow pepper? Looks all done. Oh, wait a minute. How about I add some parmesan cheese? Now we need to cook it in the pizza oven. Turn it on and wait for it to cook. All done. Let's take it out of the pizza oven. The pizza looks amazing. There's so many toppings, mushrooms, bell peppers, pepperoni, olives, tomato, and cheese. I'll just get a pizza box so we can package it up for our customer. I'll carefully place it in the box. There we go. And put the lid down. All done. Now let's go serve it up for our customer. Here we go, one pizza. The pizza costs six coins. Our customer gave us six coins. Let's count them together. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great counting. Oh, there's one last customer. She would like a slice of pizza. Luckily, I made an extra pizza. Now, I'll just get my pizza cutter and cut her a slice. This pizza has four quarters. Here's one slice of pizza, or one quarter. Let's serve it up to the customer. This slice of pizza costs two coins. And our customer gave us two coins. Let's count them. There's one and two. Great job! Look at all the things we made today in our toy kitchen. We made a burger, a pizza, and seafood salad. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. Today we're going to make sea animals out of Play-Doh. Which one shall we pick first? How about this one? Hmm, what sort of sea animal is this shape? Can you guess? That's right, it's a dolphin. Let's go and make it. I have some blue dough. That'll be a great color. And let's roll it out with a rolling pin. We need to roll it out really flat so we can make our shape. I'll put the shape cutter into the middle of the dough and press it down. Pull it out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks amazing. I'll just peel this off here. And now we can decorate it. Here's an eye and a little mouth and its belly and a fin. Great, we made our first animal, the dolphin. Did you know that dolphins are one of the smartest marine animals. And they like to travel around together in groups called pods. That was fun. Now, which sea animal shall we pick next? How about this one? Can you guess which sea animal this is? Hmm, that's right, it's a turtle. Now, I think I'll use a green color this time and roll it out really flat so we can make our shape. That looks about right. Now I'll just get my cutter and put it in the middle here, press it down. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. It looks amazing.
start decorating it. There's an eye and a smile and a turtle has a shell on its back. And I'll place a few little dots here. Oh, that looks perfect. We made a sea turtle. Sea turtles spend most of their lives in shallow water. And when they look for food, they can travel for miles. Amazing! We've made already the dolphin and the sea turtle. What shape shall we make next? Hmm, let's see. How about this one? Oh, that's an unusual shape. What sort of sea animal do you think this is? That's right, it's a seahorse. I'll just put the shape cutter up here and choose my Play-Doh. This time I'm going to use the color purple. I'll roll it out nice and flat. Play-Doh needs to be long so I can fit my shape in the middle. Here we go, press it down. And pull it out carefully. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'll just remove the dough around the outside to reveal the shape. Let's start decorating. There's an eye and I'll use pink for its belly. And I'll just use my Play-Doh tool to give it some detail, making straight lines all the way down. Looks great. And now for the frilly bit on top of the seahorse. Oh, that looks lovely, a pink mane. We made a purple seahorse. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that seahorses can change their color depending on their location? What sea animal shall we make next? How about this one? Do you recognize this sort of shape? That's right, it's a fish. And this one's a clownfish. I'll put my shape over here. And this time I'll use the color orange. And let's roll out the dough really flat. That looks about right. Now I'll get my cutter and place it in the middle. Press it down. Move it around. And take the cutter out. And remove the dough. Here's an eye and a mouth with a nice smile. And let's put some stripes on the back. I'll use white with some black outline. And make another stripe. Looks great! We made a clownfish! Oh look! The fish is blowing bubbles! Clownfish like to live in warmer water and they live in coral reefs. Which sea animal shall we pick next? How about this one? Can you guess which sea animal this is? That's right! It's a starfish! I'll place it down here and this time I'm going to use the color yellow. And roll it out. And get my star cutter and place it in the middle. Press it down and wriggle it around. Now remove the dough on the outside. Here's one eye, two eyes, and a nice smile. And we'll put some pretty decorations around the outside. We made a colorful starfish. Did you know that starfish don't actually swim? But they crawl and they can climb up rocks. Now, which shape shall we make next? How about this one? The pink one. Hmm, what is it? That's right, it's an octopus. I'll just put it over here and we'll use this bright pink dough to make our shape. And roll it out. And I'll just get my cutter and place it in the middle. Press it down. Wriggle it about. 
take it out. Looks amazing. Now, first I'll put some eyes on the octopus. Great. And now for a big smile, because he's really happy. And some dots. Looks great. And some purple decoration on its tentacles. We made a pink octopus. Can you guess how many tentacles an octopus has? That's right, it has eight. There are only two shapes left. Which one shall we make? How about this one over here, the red one? What sort of sea creature is this? That's right, it's a crab. Now I'll put it up here and I'll use the red dough. Roll it out. And get my shape cutter. Press it down and wriggle it around. And carefully take it out. I'll give it two eyes and a mouth. Now I'll make some claws for the crab and give it some feet. Looks great! We made a red crab. Did you know that crabs have ten legs and they mostly walk sideways? What's the last sea animal we're going to make? Hmm, can you guess this shape? It's a whale! I'll put it over here and I'll use this dark blue color. Roll it out nice and flat and place the cutter in the middle. Pressing it down, wriggle it around. Let's give the whale an eye and place some white on its belly and give it a little smile and a blue fin. Oh, and don't forget its water spout. And here's the water. Fantastic, we made a blue whale. Whales are mammals and they don't have gills like fish, so they breathe air like us. Wow, look at all the beautiful sea creatures we made today. We made a starfish, a crab, a clownfish, a dolphin, a seahorse, a turtle, a whale, and an octopus. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. Today I'm making ploy ice creams in our pretend play ice cream shop. Here's our first customer. What would they like? A strawberry ice cream. I need to prepare the strawberries. First, I'll cut off the stalk. I'll put this piece over here. Now I'll cut another one. Great! Now we have two strawberries. Let's go wash them under the faucet. I'll just turn the water on. The water is flowing. The strawberries are getting nice and clean. I think they're washed. Let's turn the faucet off. I'll just take the lid off my toy blender and put the two strawberries inside. Put the lid on. Let's turn it on. Looks done. Let's see what we made. Take the lid off. I'll just get my ice cream scoop to scoop out the ice cream. Here we go. We made some strawberry ice cream. Let's put it on the cone. I think I'll use this one. One strawberry ice cream coming right up. Now, can you help me put it back into the puzzle where it belongs? Hmm, it's got some frosting on top and some dots. There are four dots on top. One, two, three, four. I think that matches. Let's see if it fits. It does. This ice cream cost four coins. How many coins did our customer give us? Let's count them together. One, two, three, and four. 
Great job counting. Here's customer number two. What would you like? A pineapple and banana ice cream. First, I'll prepare the pineapple. I've cut it into two halves. I'll put this piece in the blender and throw away the other piece of the stalk. Now, I'll get the banana and peel it. I'll use this piece for the ice cream and throw away the peel. Put it in the blender. Place the lid on top and churn it on. Here we go. Looks done. Take the lid off and let's get out a scoop of toy ice cream. I'll use my ice cream scoop. We have one scoop of pineapple banana ice cream. Now, let's look for a cone. Hmm, I think I'll use this one. And now, I'll just put the ice cream scoop on top. Looks fantastic. Hmm, just I think I might add some extra sprinkles on top. Great. Now, can you help me find where the ice cream goes in the puzzle? Hmm, not here. How about here? It's got a squiggly line and four dots. The pattern matches our ice cream. Let's turn it around to fit in the puzzle. This ice cream cost five coins. Let's see how many coins our customer gave us. One, two, three, four, and five. Here's customer number three. He would like a grape flavored ice cream. I'll just prepare the grapes. First, I'll wash them under the tap. They need to be nice and clean. Now, I'll just cut them in half. Get my blender and put the grapes inside. Put the lid on and turn it off. Looks done. Turn it off. Take the lid off and I'll just get my ice cream scoop. And here we go. I have my scoop of grape ice cream. Let's go find a cone. How about I use this one? I'll just put the scoop on top of the cone. Looks great. Hmm, I think I'll add some strawberry sauce. I think that'll be plenty of sauce, don't you? Great. Now, let's put it back into the puzzle. Where does it belong? Ah, it belongs here. There are eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ice cream matches the pattern in the puzzle. Let's see if it fits. It does. This ice cream cost three coins. Let's see how many coins our customer gave us. That's one, two, Three, grave counting. Here's customer number four, and she would like blueberry ice cream. I have my blueberries. I just need to wash them. I'll turn the tap on. That looks about right. Now I'll turn it off. And let's put them in the toy blender. Put the lid on. Turn it on. Here we go. Looks done. Turn it off. And I'll just get my ice cream scoop. I think I have it. And we've made one scoop of blueberry ice cream. All we need now is a cone. I think I'll pick this one. Just put the scoop on top. And look, we've made a blueberry ice cream. And I'll just add some sprinkles. 
looks fantastic. Now, can you help me find where it belongs in the puzzle? Ah, I think it belongs here. They both have sprinkles, but it's upside down. We need to turn it around to make it fit. This ice cream cost two coins. Let's see how many coins our customer gave us. One, two, great. Here comes customer number five, and she would like a pink and yellow popsicle. I had my popsicle stick. Now, can you help me find the popsicle that is pink and yellow stripes? Here it is. We found it already. I'll just put it onto the popsicle stick. Great job! Now, where does it go in the puzzle? Mm -mm, not here. No, not here. Ah, I think it goes here. See, we have three stripes. One, two, and three. Just like our popsicle. It also has three stripes. It matches perfectly. This popsicle cost one coin. One. Here's customer number six. She would like this shaped popsicle. I had my popsicle stick. Can you help me find the popsicle a customer would like? Hmm, it's not over here on the left. How about over here on the right? We found it already. I'll just put it onto the popsicle stick. Now, can you help me find where it goes in the puzzle? Hmm. Uh-uh, not here or here. Ah, it goes here. It's shaped like the figure eight. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six dots on it. It matches. Great job. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. Here's customer seven. He would like this yellow popsicle with a squiggly line on it. I'll just get a popsicle stick. Now, all we need to do is find the top. Hmm, not that one. Hey, look, we found it already. Let's put the popsicle on top of the stick. Great job. Can you help me find where it goes in the puzzle board? Hmm, not here. No. Oh, how about here? See, it's got a squiggly line, just like the popsicle. Let's see if it fits. It does. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them. One, two, and three. Here's customer number eight, and she would like a blue popsicle with white stripes. I have my popsicle stick. Let's go find the popsicle topping. Here it is, over here. I'll put the popsicle on top of the stick. Now, can you help me find where it goes in the puzzle? Hmm, not here. Uh-uh. No. Hmm, not here. Ah, it goes here. See, it has three stripes. Popsicle matches the picture. Let's put it back into the puzzle where it belongs. Let's count the coins. Here's one. Two, three, and four. Customer number nine would like a vanilla and chocolate popsicle. I'll just get my popsicle stick. There's only one popsicle left, and it's over here. Looks great. Hmm, I think I'll add some extra chocolate topping. Now, let's put it back in the puzzle board. Does it go here? No, hmm, not here. Or here. Ah, I think it goes here. See? It's got some toppings. The popsicle matches the picture. Great job! Let's count the coins our customer gave us. That's one and two. Our next customer, number ten, would like a strawberry. I have them in my fruit shop. I'll just cut the strawberry. Here we go. Let's put it back in the puzzle. Does it go here? No. Here? No. It goes here. Great job! Customer number 11 would like a mango. I'll just go to my fruit shop. I have a 
mango here. I'll just cut it in half. Can you help me put it back into the puzzle where it belongs? Hmm, not here. No. Oh, yes, it goes here. Customer number 12 would like an apple. Hmm, I have this apple right here. Let's cut it in half. We have a green apple. Let's put it back into the puzzle. It goes right here. Great job! Our last customer would like an orange. Here it is. Let's cut a slice. One orange coming right up. Let's put it back in the puzzle. It goes here. Wow, we made so many things today in our ice cream store. We made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine popsicles and ice creams. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Rainbow. Today we're making animals out of Play-Doh. What animal shall we make first? Can you guess which animal this is? That's right, it's a lion. Now, which color shall we use to make the lion? Hmm, no, not blue. No, not green. How about this color? Yes, let's use the color orange. Let's go make our lion. I have my orange ball of Play-Doh. Now I'll use my rolling pin to roll it out really flat so I can make my lion shape. I'll get my cutter and place it into the middle of the dough. Pressing it down, push the button, and carefully take it out. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh wow, we made a lion. Now we're ready to decorate it. I'll give it a yellow mane and a brown tail, black nose, and eyes. We made a lion. This lion is going for a walk in the savannah. Isn't he beautiful? What shall we make next? I can't wait to see what we'll find. What is it? Oh, it's a butterfly. Let's go choose our color to make our butterfly. Hmm, what shall we use? How about this one? Yes, let's use the color purple. I'll just place the ball of Play-Doh here and roll it out really flat. Now I'll get my butterfly shape and place it into the middle of the dough. Press it down. Push the button and carefully take it out. Remove the extra dough. And let's take a look. Wow, looks amazing. Now we're ready to decorate the wings. I'll give it the body and some antennae and two eyes. Oh, looks beautiful. We made a butterfly. A butterfly is an insect. And did you know a butterfly has actually four wings? I can't wait to see what animal we'll make next. Can you? Hmm, where is it? Ah, I think I got it. It's an elephant. Now let's go choose a color. Hmm, maybe not pink or purple. Oh, no, not green. Hmm. Oh, I know. How about this color at the end? The color gray. Yes, let's go make our elephant. I'll roll out the gray ball really flat. And now get the elephant cutter and place it in the middle. Remember to push it down. Press the button. And take it out. Boop. There we go. 
and remove the extra dough. Now we can decorate our elephant. I'll give the elephant some dark gray ears. And what else? Some eyes. And it's all done. We made an elephant. Here are two elephants having a drink. Elephants are really big. They are the largest land animal. I wonder what the next animal will be. Hmm, I found something. Oh, here it is. Can you guess what animal this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a frog. Well done. Now let's choose a color. Hmm, what color do you think? How about we use this color? The color green. Let's go make the frog. Roll the dough out really flat. Looks great. I'll get my frog cutter and place it in the middle again. Pushing it down, pressing the button. And let's take a look at what we've made. We made a happy frog. We'll give it two eyes and a red tongue. We made a green frog. Frogs have really strong legs that can help them jump long distances. Look how far this frog can jump. Whoa, amazing. Well done, little frog. We've made four animals so far. What is the fifth one going to be? What is it? Oh, it's a giraffe. Let's choose a color for our giraffe. Hmm, how about this color? Yes, let's use the color yellow. I'll roll out the dough really nice and smooth and flat. Get my cutter and place it again in the middle of the dough. Pushing it down, press the button and take it out. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Carefully remove the giraffe from the cutter. Oh wow, it's got a really long neck. I'll give it some spots and a tail and an eye. We made a giraffe. This is a giraffe in the wild. They are very tall animals with long legs and long necks. This helps them to reach high up in the trees so they can eat the leaves. Let's find our next animal. Hmm, I think I've got it. Here it is. What is it? Can you guess? That's right, it's a zebra. Let's choose a color for our zebra. Hmm, maybe not red. No, not yellow. Ah, how about this color? We'll use the color blue. We'll place the dough here and start rolling it out. Now, where's the zebra cutter? Here it is. And I'll place it in the middle. Push it down, press the button, and take it out. Remove the extra dough, and let's see what it looks like. Oh wow, it's even got stripes. Let's decorate our zebra. I'll put a whole lot of white stripes on its back. That's one. Three stripes, four, five stripes, six, and seven. Great! And last, some eyes. 
We made a zebra. And this one's the color blue. In the wild, zebra are black with white stripes. This is a herd of zebra crossing the road. What's our last animal going to be? Hmm. Oh, I found it. Whoa, what is it? It's a bear. What color shall we use to make our bear? Hmm, let's see, there's so many colors to choose from. How about this color at the end? Yes, the color pink. Let's go make our bear. First, I'll roll out the dough. That looks about right. Then, get the bear cutter and place it in the middle of the dough. Push it down, press the button. And let's take a look at what we've made. Oh, how cute, a pink bear. Let's start decorating. I'll give the bear a nose and two ears and a purple heart. We made a pink bear. There are many different types of bears in the wild, like panda bears. Oh, and there's grizzly bears and polar bears. This looks like a mama bear with her cub. We made so many animals today out of Play-Doh. Let's take a look at what we made. We made an elephant, a lion, a giraffe, a frog, a zebra, a butterfly, and a bear. Fantastic! Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainy Bow.